Good day, sir. Okay, so in one word or sentence, give us your perspective or your take on these historical Nigerian events. Independence from the British. Oh, that was good. Military rule. Oh boy. Now that, that is not very good. The coup helped Nigeria to precipitate into this abyss we are now. It's, it, it didn't help us. Zogwe was the one that led the coup. Nigerian coup. And then this, the second coup was Theophilus Danjuma. You see, um, probably the first coup would have been okay if they carried it out like they planned it. Pre or post war? Both of them, so you can give an answer for each. Oh, pre was good. But post, as you can see, there's nothing to be jubilant about. It's not good. Then the civil war. Oh boy, that was, this, that was a big disaster. My name is Hyacinth Oganze. I'm from, I'm a Nigerian from East Central State, Anambra, I mean from Anambra State. And, and um, my actual town is Omunya in Anambra State. See, um, I'm a pharmacist. Well, I, I'm, I'm a retired pharmacist. Um, Live around, I have six, seven children. That's about uh, all I can say now. Um, the typical village. When I was growing up, it was just a typical village. A few, you know, houses with corrugated iron sheet. But now it's everywhere. There's no touched building, touched, you know, roof building now. So, but then. It was simply one um, one beautiful place without a lot of history. They love themselves. They, they are farmers, principally farmers. In fact, at this stage, the elementary school in my place was just ended up in standard two. Well, one thing I can actually boast of is that my immediate cousin was ordained priest, the very first priest in my town, a Catholic priest. Um, he's still alive, he's 70 something years now. Okay, I, you know, I, it's an, an event that brought the whole, the whole town together and every people, even in the neighboring town they came. It was an, you know, an, a very eventful occasion. I, 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 I I, I call that, you know, to me, momentous. But then, if you're talking about Zeke, Nam just go they live behind us, right? Behind us in Onitsha. He's from Onitsha town. And we grew up in Onitsha town. They live behind us. And Zeke is a unique person in many ways. And he, he really brought a lot of changes. Africa, in Nigeria, not only in, in East, but in Igbo land, it was so, it was so, it's such a different, you know, for all the years he was leading, he never had a house in Onitsha. Apart from the old house that his father built behind our, where we were living, he never had a house. You know, these things went to, went to, when constitutional changes and became independent, he didn't have a house. Well, he was the one who founded University of Nigeria and Soka. He's the one that he did it all completely, totally by himself when he was you know, the, the premier of Eastern Nigeria. And he built that in Soka. And it was, the land he built, it was on his own land. Well, being, you know, so the money they paid for that land, 
He then he came to Anija and built four houses together, uh, you know, gave them out for rent. That's all he ever had. Unlike people, you know, in the politicians now, when they enter politics, they, they wreck you, they, they wreck the whole country. Well, no, Zeke wasn't like that. You know, he comes, he brings, he, he's always there, comes to my, our town, he will every tell everybody, tell everybody what is going on. And, you know, there were not too many educated people anyway. So Zeke, they call him Zeke of Africa. And that's, that is, we enjoyed his time. But then after the war, you know, everything changed. After the Civil War, everything changed, you know. Um, but our village or our, our town, because all the towns around are alike. Is there, Okunja, Okuze is there, Uintej is there, Aguilera is there, you know, all those things. Are, are the similar countries, we're all alike. We intermarry, we do everything, you know. Zik is what well, used to be the president of um, a political party. They call NCNC. It was National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons. He, that time, Cameroons was a part of Nigeria. You see, he was there and uh, with, with other head of, you know, di, you know, di, different head political parties, something like um, Bono Jikedem. Um, by the them, those people were very important political giants in Igbo land. We call him Zeke, but it's Namdi, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe. He, 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 he had his um, university education in the United States. And when he finished, the, you know, those days, nobody wanted to stay here. They want to come home and do politics and try to improve our country. And they just came back, all of them, including Including even non ibos when they finish, they come to Nigeria, come back to Nigeria. Not like now, I finish, I'm still here. I've been here for 40 years, I have to go and visit. And it wasn't the, but things have changed so much that everybody just wants to be like the other person. They emulate people, you see? So, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> You don't go back to yesterday. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, with, the, with, the, with the situation in Nigeria as it is now, some of us stay here and feel, hey, we are blessed, you know so. But I, I don't. I really don't. But uh, I don't have to travel to the United Kingdom. I don't have to swallow all these things happening now, you know, over, overseas. I would like to stay in Nigeria, I grew up in Nigeria. And, have my children in Nigeria and raise them in Nigeria. That's, that would have been, you know, my own choice. You know, when I came here, I didn't plan to stay here. I finished and I just graduated from School of Pharmacy. I, I, I returned. Yeah. Oh, no, I, no, I didn't. But I, I am here now. But it is one of the factors that is affecting us. Just, just for instance, all of you don't speak Igbo. Do you? No, I don't. And you would have liked to speak Igbo? I would love, I still, I still have it. Do you understand a little bit? I can spell it, which is weird. I can spell it, but I don't understand it or speak it. But you know, you would have, she would have, all my other children went, three of the, the bigger ones went to Nigeria. But in their turn, they, they didn't go because of the event in my place. Otherwise, they would have been, and I'm sure she would have only been you know, speaking Igbo and, like, you know, like the rest of them. I, I can write it. That's the thing. And you know, the, the thing is, the lang language brings people together. One thing I'm going to tell, and I tell all of you, is honesty. Just honesty, don't lie. Instead of you to lie, keep quiet. But don't lie, because lie can create a lot of problems. Say one thing just to exculpate yourself, and then it affects others be behind you. So just be honest and believe in yourself. Tell the truth at all times. If you don't want to tell the truth, just keep quiet. Don't volunteer information. That's what I know, and that's what I do too. Mm -hmm.